exactly when it like right. hit, but it's when again with this group of great friends here, it's like everybody's like, "Hey, you idiot! What are you doing? What are you waiting on?" And then it's just like the confirmation because it's like I'll be the first one to say that I second guess myself, especially on pretty big decisions. <laughs> and so everybody, I mean, everybody is just they would come up and be like, "She is the nicest person," and she and. and when you see how Claire is so loving to, especially like Julie's kids and stuff like that, where it's just like, she is a very selfless person, even in times like the last couple of months when it's not been fun, she's always looking out for other people, and I think that that's, there wasn't a time where like the light bulb, like, oh yeah, wow, well, like no offense, but it was, I think it's just like an over time where she just became like a part of the family and we didn't think about doing anything mm -hmm. without her mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so you better have a better story <laughs> <laughs> I think I mean I was really heartbroken the first time um, that we broke up but I think um, it was good for us because once I met him again I really prayed that oh. I really prayed that if he were to come back into my life again, that I would really know. Mm. And, um... Kleenex. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I mean, him asking me to go to church and us, me seeing that side of him, because in college I didn't see oh. that side of him. And, I mean, I knew he was a Christian, but I didn't know I did big how... Boys, big sisters. <laughs> was in all of that and I mean I knew that it was happening but um I just didn't know what a sweet kind heart he had and also how deep his spirituality was and so it was fun to see that side of him and um and his family has just always been so sweet and mom has always told me you know you don't marry that person you marry their family too and I mean they are just so sweet and I feel so blessed 